Hola amigos y amigas, I am Leila aka Miss Bohemia and I'm here to talk about what you already know from the title of this video, my new Dyson. To be more specific, the Dyson Supersonic. Oh, first of all, let me address this. I've been driving myself crazy for the past week or so trying to figure out a background situation where it's not so noisy. I'm using a tapestry that I bought, oh my god, when I was a teen, 18 or 19. I've had it for like forever, I haven't used it for anything, and it's not gonna be my regular background, but for now, until I figure out what I'm doing, it'll have to do. The Dyson is something I was not planning to buy at all. I've seen so many rave reviews about it, maybe one or two where a few naturals weren't crazy about it, but for the most part, people have been raving about it. People have been saying how much it saves you time, which is something I could so use because it takes me, no joke, about 40 minutes, 45 minutes sometimes to diffuse my hair. And because I refresh and diffuse daily, saving myself time would be amazing. I've also made this incredible friend that I consider a dear friend. I'm so happy I met her, Melinda through this channel and Instagram and she got the Dyson and she was telling me about how much she loves it. She's in the 4A, 4C category of hair, I'm in 3A, but I've heard it all around, all porosities, all curl types in the natural community loving the Dyson. And Instagram targeted advertising is what got me. I saw the Dyson Supersonic being advertised by Nordstrom Rack on Instagram. I clicked on it. And I had been looking around, perusing, just because Melinda got me to be really curious about it. And I didn't see anything where there was a steal of a deal. And Nordstrom Rack happened to have them refurbished with an extra 15% off that day only when I ordered it. I had it at 270 something with 15% off. It brought my price down to about 250 I'm like, hmm, it's not a bad deal. Dysons don't tend to go on sale. It's still more than I was planning on spending. I got it right away. It just arrived yesterday. And then when I went back on the site, it's totally sold out. So I'm gonna take it as a sign from the universe <laughs> that I was meant to get it. And so here it is, it's refurbished, which is why I got it at a deal. And it comes in a very nondescript box, which I already opened because I was dying to see it, but I haven't turned it on. I've totally ripped the box apart and I taped it to kind of make it more manageable for filming. It has the instruction manual here, trash. It comes with, uh, what's it called? A matte thing protection thing concentrator nozzles and smoothing nozzles i think they call it which basically are things i will never be using this tiny diffuser head so this is also one of the reasons i admit i've not been in like a hurry to get the dyson is that the diffuser head is so tiny i'm curious to see how this is gonna do i'm curious to see how this is gonna work for me and how i feel i haven't really seen other naturals complain about it which honestly surprised me because this isn't as deep as what I'm used to. Definitely not as big as what I'm used to. So given my preference for having big, deep diffusers, my go-to is my baby, my Extava Black Orchid diffuser. You know, I wish they had more options as far as diffusers go. So we shall see. I'm cautiously optimistic. Let me get rid of the box. God. It feels so sleek and sexy. I didn't have any color options. This was it. And I'm not going to be picky. If I'm getting a deal, I'm all in for the deal. I don't need color. Why am I saying color with so much of an accent? Color, color options. Wait, I have to take off this plastic. Yeah. As long as it works, as long as it's good, as long as it saves me time, I am going to be so happy. I'm going to get into it in a few i'm just gonna do this i've seen everyone doing this yes it's a magnetic oh it's a very strong magnet i thought it would be like easy to oh, very cool it takes a little bit of strength to get it off which i like i was saying i'm cautiously optimistic because part of me didn't think i would be crazy about it but just just this this is so cool <laughs> it has a lot of features everyone rattles off that sounds negative. I don't mean it in a negative way, but everyone goes on. I don't know about the power and voltage. 
and what supersonic amazing Dyson capabilities it has and how long the cord is. But it's a good length. I mean, I can plug this in my tiny bathroom and blow dry my hair in my closet, which is what I tend to do. But I'm gonna have a link to the Dyson so you can read up on all the specs because I could rattle them off, but honestly, I don't know what they mean. From what I've seen others say and what I've seen people praise the Dyson blow dryer and Dyson technology for is that it seems to have a capability of detecting how much heat it's emanating and where your hair is as far as level of dryness so that it can self-regulate if need be so as to avoid heat damage. I don't know if that's the case because you do have heat settings and you change them and you control them and obviously it's not switching around on you but if that's the case that's amazing but that's one thing that I've heard said a lot and another thing that they say a lot is I guess in conventional regular old blow dryers the motor is up here but in the dyson it's down here which is super compact and i it, it says something about op opening oh so i guess you open it here to clean the filter cool okay oh it's easy to close it's easy to close i'm gonna go wash off my hair mask moisturize with my tgi natural routine add a styler and then i'll be back and we're going to test out the buttons, hear the sound, and I'll get to diffusing and see how I like the diffuser size. I won't be filming myself while I diffuse because I film on my phone and I'm going to use my phone as a stopwatch. I can't show you, but I mean, you can take my word for it to see how long it takes me from the moment I start diffusing to the moment my hair dries because that's what everyone's doing and they tend to average between 10 and 15 minutes which would blow my mind and honestly i'm skeptical i see it that it's working and it's happening for them but i really don't believe it and part of me just doesn't believe that that's going to be the case with me i don't i really don't so i'm going on the record to say that let's see how this goes i'll be back okay so i'm back see this is the difference dyson Extava. This is what I'm used to. This is what I'm getting. So I'm really curious to see. Let's turn it on. This is, from what I can tell, this is the cold shot button. Here you turn it on and off. This must be the heat. And I'm guessing this is the speed. Let's turn the heat on. The light turns on. Two. So there's three heat levels. Wow, that's hot. And then one speed, two speed, wow, three speed levels. So I'm going to put it on the lowest speed. The heat com comes completely off and then pretty cold without pressing the cold shot button. And after I press it, it gets way colder. You don't have to keep it pressed and the sound is lower. You know, like in videos when people say, oh, it's such a low sound. I always think they're full of it and that they're just saying it to say it. But it actually is way lower than my regular blow dryer so i'm gonna do lowest heat and lowest speed because it's pretty strong and lowest heat is pretty warm and the strength is pretty strong i am gonna get into it you don't need to see it because all it's gonna be is me diffusing and i will report back as to everything i can pick up i am seriously blown away <laughs> i'm speechless i I don't only really like it, I love it, and I, I didn't think I would. 21 and a half minutes, which is absolutely not bad. It's longer than what I've seen a lot of people do. I have seen a few others. I think it was Jamie Jo took her to about 20 minutes. And it's... Sorry, I'm just speechless. It's way drier. Oh my god, it's like... I don't even need to let my hair set. Normally with other blow dryers, it gets to a level of dryness where I can't go any further i can't push it too much more or my hair could get damaged and just get too hot but this just feels set done i don't have to let it set i already went in with my oil i didn't pick or fluff or anything but if i wanted to do that right now i could so it saves me that time as well i don't have to wait for my hair to like be fully dry and wait around for like an extra hour i mean like right now if i wanted to like fluff my hair be super super ready and take it to the stage and level that I normally want to take it to I can the roots are super dry the back which is normally damper is super dry what 
and this didn't irritate me it took me a little bit to get used to the small size because i'm used to this huge thing cupping my head what is going on oh my god i'm becoming a freaking dyson blow dryer chick oh <laughs> So when I started diffusing, it's very hot. I mean, I had it on the lowest speed and the lowest heat and it's still pretty hot. So whereas with my other blow dryers, I tend to just, I mean, I know like a lot of people say hover to avoid frizz. And so I don't follow a lot of the how to diffuse rules. Honestly, I just go with what's feeling right to me. But this time it felt like if from the get go, while my hair was wet, I got in too close, it felt too hot. So it kind of, I kind of just listened to my body, listened to my hair, listened to the Dyson. And it felt too hot if I went in too close, maybe the combination of heat and wet hair. So I just started out naturally a little farther out. But then as the hair dried, you'd think that because this feels so hot, I shouldn't go in closer, but it didn't feel like it was damaging to the hair. So then I did go in closer, hoping that the curls would form and they did really well. I didn't think I would like this diffuser head at all. And I mean, that took me a little bit of getting used to and the maneuver. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just out of words because I'm just shocked that I like this. Oh my God. Thank God, because it's it was a final sale, so I can't return it. Another thing that I really enjoyed is when I do the back of my hair, head, hair, with other diffusers, because they're top heavy and they're big and bulky, I have to, to be comfortable, hold them from here and go in this way. But that actually feels uncomfortable with the Dyson. And holding it like this, all the way through is super easy and super comfortable up here back here sideways upside down it's just really comfortable the only thing i found myself doing is my hand would come all the way down here covering the filter area so i just have to train myself to do it here every once in a while i would hit the cold shot button but not too often i'm just getting used to it it's my first time so it'll be something that becomes habit for me to not hit the cold shot button but otherwise the placement of the buttons yeah they don't bother me if i had to like change something in the design maybe i wouldn't even put any buttons here put them up here but it's not that big a deal you get used to it I'm shocked. What else do I want to say? What else do I want to say? I was concerned about the heat. It just super dried my hair. My hair, look. And it's dry. It's not at all damp. I mean, if you watch any of my other videos, I always talk about needing my hair to set because it's a slightly, slightly damp. It's not even freaking slightly damp at all. What? I mean, I, that's it. <laughs> There's nothing else to say. I still have to get used to this. I still have to play around with it. I'm really excited to like... <laughs> do my hair every day now and like refresh it and as silly as it sounds i could see all these other people go oh this is so cool and i'm thinking dude it's a magnet not that big a deal but it is really cool when you do it in person mainly because it's such a strong magnet that's what i didn't expect the strength and the power and then it's super super stable it doesn't even go click 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 it's like hella stable i'm impressed it's worth it and it saved me money i got it on sale which is rare for the dyson that's it no no that wasn't everything i have more and i'm back it's three days later i did another wash day just three days after the last wash day no convoluted reason mainly i needed to do a protein treatment and it was just the best timing because it's a sunday oh my god where do i begin so that first wash day was like my very first time ever trying the dyson supersonic 21 minutes today's wash day was 15 minutes it's blowing my mind and my refresh days where i have wet hair because i wet my hair with aloe vera and water and then i go in with my daily moisturizer followed by my oil and then i diffuse those days average 10 11 minutes down from 40 freaking minutes i can't even begin to tell you how light i feel i get excited i've been procrastinating more and more doing my hair every day because we're in quarantine and it takes so long on average when i say i'm gonna go get ready let's say i come down and it's noon doing my face and my creams and prepping the hair and blow drying everything together takes about an hour now everything together takes about 25 minutes to 30 minutes because i'm including my face routine and other stuff in the whole timing but otherwise diffusing alone is 10 11 minutes on my refresh days and today i went in and i did my alpha g2 step protein treatment i have a whole video on that here but what that entails is 
applying the two-step protein treatment onto the hair and it's wet and you want to squish it in and you want it to be soaking your hair so that you can get as much protein in and so when i diffuse that dry because what that entails is hovering all around the head over and over and over high speed high heat until it gets super dry and the protein gets kind of baked into the hair guess how long guess how long it took me with the dyson regular blow dryer about 30 minutes dyson six minutes game changer i get so lazy on the protein on like my monthly protein protocol which is the apogee two step protein treatment and now no not a big deal because that 30 minutes is down to six minutes and then afterwards when i have to style my hair which used to be 40 45 minutes is down to let's say an average of 15 minutes total of 21 minutes on my protein treatment day spent with the diffuser that's like half the time of when i just styled my hair at the end of the whole treatment so this is blowing my mind i am totally sold it's insane it's insane and i keep checking my hair is it damaged is it happy is it healthy and it's totally healthy just going back to the whole apogee thing when i use the dyson i did highest speed and highest um, heat like i normally do with other blow dryers and i was very careful to just hover and not come too close like i do for example when i use the extava because if the extava gets gunky i'm fine but i don't want to have to like get my dyson gunky in any way shape or form so i was very careful about hovering and six minutes drying time but the thing i noticed was when i washed the protein treatment off because you wash it off after it's hardened my hair felt stronger than it had ever before so i just feel that it was really baked into the hair like it's never been before and then i tend to follow the two-step protein treatment with a balancing moisturizer recommended by apogee and it's one that i don't like i always follow that with the curlific texture treatment by apogee and then i follow that with a hair mask just to really make sure i'm packing the moisture in this time when i did the balancing moisturizer my hair actually felt good i don't know what it is was my ph off with other blow dryers because the protein wasn't getting baked in or because it got such a good dose of protein it's reacting with the moisturizer conditioner the way it's supposed to i don't know i don't have the answers all i can tell you is how it felt and i didn't hate it i normally hate going through that process i hate using that conditioner i do just to follow the steps apogee recommends but i was super happy with it i still follow the curlific texture treatment and it felt even better than ever before and then i followed with my mask again my hair felt optimal look at my curls they're so happy and so springy i still am getting used to the size of the diffuser in all honesty and because the hair dries so fast some days it's flatter some days i get more volume because maybe i'm upside down more and then by the time i'm ready to come up my hair is almost dry it's like oh okay so i got the volume and then sometimes i just spend too much time diffusing right side up and by the time i want to flip over it's like oh wait my hair is almost dry and i'm just not used to that it's user error but as far as the dyson goes mind blown i am in all honesty getting used to this i'm pretty happy with this i don't feel like i am missing my extava i mean i'm sorry i love you but <laughs> see i'm just a creature of a habit if i'm locked in something it's so hard for me to change so i was locked in this and i didn't want to go into this because this is small now i'm into this so it's like well they designed for this to be together so if i was to use a hack that's out there to be able to fix the extava onto the dyson would it still be as effective would it still work as effectively would it still dry my hair as fast at one point i wondered if the whole combination of the blow dryer and the diffuser is designed as such that together they give you these results but at the same time this comes with other attachments to dry the hair and it still gets the job done as fast for them so by that logic it should work the same with this just as you switch out other diffusers and other blow dryers so i've seen two different hacks out there one of them using something called a snozzle didn't appeal to me the one that piqued my interest was this chick i saw on instagram had glued magnets all around the periphery of this and then just affixes it on it worked really well for her so i am really curious if at any point i do the hack i will film it we'll go through it together and then i would test out and see is there a difference is the drying time the same the look of the curls what do i notice 
I'm intrigued part of me I mean my life would be easier if I don't go to all that trouble <laughs> but I'm just really curious so that might be an upcoming video but as is I am super happy with my Dyson just as she is today I was so excited over testing yet another wash day with my Dyson because you know I did one wash day and refreshes and so this is my second official wash day with Dyson and I do the lock method I totally forgot to put in the cream I'm like what am I thinking I did my leave-in my oil and I jumped straight to the styler which is really no big deal for most people but I'm like so OCD about my lock method that the fact that I forgot because I was so excited to use the Dyson goes to show you how much I'm loving it would I recommend it hell yes this is gonna save you so much time it's gonna give you so much time today and then it's re-energized me into wanting to come and do my hair feel like fun because before it's just like oh the blow drying process was taking forever and it's exhausting and now it's like oh my god i can tell my family i'm running down to quickly refresh my hair i'll be up in 15 minutes and i will be up in 15 minutes that's the crazy thing and that's such a new experience for me as a curly girl i am loving it if you have the cash and savings and having to be a sales hound like I am is not a big deal. Go get it. You can get it at a bunch of different places. If you want a deal, look on eBay, Google, and see what sites come up. Nordstrom Rack, last I checked, didn't have it anymore. But keep checking in because they, their stuff, I feel, the refurbished stuff comes and goes. So you might find a deal there. I've seen a lot of refurbished ones on eBay. I know that Dyson itself sells refurbished blow dryers and i've seen the refurbished ones averaging at about 279 which is what this was priced at on nordstrom rack only that that particular day that i bought it they had an extra 15 percent off sale going so i locked out my first wash day to recap 21 and a half minutes second wash day 15 minutes down from 45 minutes apogee two-step protein treatment which normally takes me about 30 35 minutes to dry six freaking minutes and my refresh days, which normally also take about 40 minutes, 10, 11 minutes. Insane. Done. I love it. I love it. I love it. I don't, I don't know what else to say. That's it. That's it. Do you have a Dyson? Love it? Hate it? How does it work for you? What are the times? Do you have any suggestions? Have you tried any hacks? I want to know it all. So leave a comment below. Let me know. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I post a video. That would really help the algorithm and I would truly appreciate it. Thank you so much for making it this far. Stay tuned for more. Ciao for now.